Ah, it's been a while. It's been a while, guys, since we've broken down some stocks at a very high short interest that I believe potentially could short squeeze here in the short term. So I want to break down three stocks about to short squeeze, in my personal opinion, and we're going to break down how the overall markets very quickly are performing today. So if you guys find value, hit the like button, subscribe, check out my Patreon down below if you guys want my buy, sells, call out morning update videos plus more and let's get right into it so it's currently 1 p.m on the east coast meaning we have about three hours left in the session and let me tell you guys the markets are looking pretty dang good today the s p's up 0.6 percent the dow's up 0.8 percent the nasdaq 100 is lagging a little bit but still it's up 0.3 percent and the Russell's up 0.4%. And you guys can see here on SPY, we are testing in real time as I'm making this video. We're testing $446 per share, which is that resistance point from the end of September. And I've been on record saying, and I'm going to say it again, I think we're going to break out of there. Well, I don't know for sure, but I think if we do break out of there, there's going to be a huge leg up and we'd be officially out of the woods if that ends up happening. And by out of the woods, I mean we'll be out of the downtrend that we've been in pretty much for the past month and a half. And if you guys have been in the markets, you know <laughs> it's been a pretty uh, rough month and a half these uh, past couple of weeks. So watch out for SPY breaking 446. That could potentially happen later today, maybe at some point next week. And for QQQ, which tracks the NASDAQ 100, we're also at a pivotal spot. We're testing the 180 moving average right now in real time on this four-hour chart, which was resistance in the end of September. So I have an alert at 370 on QQQ. If we start breaking out of there, I think we're going to be going to 375, which is the high point from the end of September. And if we break 375, we're talking 380 plus is in the cards. So keep your eyes out on those levels for SPY and on uh, QQQ. And let's talk about these three stocks that have high short interest that I believe could squeeze here. And one or two of them, I think two of them, have already shown some momentum to the upside. And before we even go over the three stocks, what is short interest? What the heck is a short interest percentage, right? Because you're seeing this everywhere. This stock has a 2% short interest. This one has 40%. What does that even mean? Well, short interest is the number of shorted shares, right, divided by the number of shares outstanding. So pretty much the shares outstanding are the shares out there that me and you could go and buy, we could go and sell. And the percentage of, or rather short interest, is the number of those shares out there that are sold short in layman's terms, right? That is what that means. So a lot of the stocks that we're going to talk about today, well, all of them have over 25% short interest, some over 30, 35%, meaning a crap ton of the shares out there are being sold short. So now that we got that out of the way, we understand that. Most of you guys probably already knew that. Let's go over the stocks, starting off with number one, which is GoGo, -Go, ticker symbol GO. G -O. Let's see what's going on here. This is one that I believe was moving um, aggressively in the end of September. Yeah, you guys can see it for yourselves. This had a ridiculous parabolic move in the end of September from $12, right? Let me zoom in on that day. $12 all the way to about $17 in one single day. That was about a 30% move, which is a pretty massive move overall. And then it continued having um, little mini short squeezes the next couple of days. A notable one was about two days after that initial 30% pop. GoGo -Go went from 17 to about almost 19, which isn't that crazy, but still, that was a pop of about 10%. And then two days after, or the day after in the aftermarket, it went from about 18 all the way to 21 which was a move of 13% in after hours. And ever since that move to 21, we've put in a top, at least for now. We don't know what the future holds, but as of now, that was the top, right? And we collapsed from 21 bucks down to about
about 15. We lost about 30% value there. And now the past couple, during the past couple of days, we've been consolidating and slowly moving up above these moving averages. And it seems like buyers are stepping in, buying this dip and waiting for the next squeeze, which could be coming, guys, considering they have a short interest right now of 33.1% percent which is insane and if we do get a short squeeze similar to what we saw in the end of september gogo -Go could easily take the highs out and we're talking mid 20s high 20s that is where it could end up and another thing worth mentioning for a lot of these stocks that get squeezed to to high high places right we've seen amc gamestop a lot of these stocks that get squeezed to the heavens, right? <laughs> you know, they have very small market caps. Well, not, you know, some of them have like a hundred million market cap, 200 million. Um, but a lot of them have a billion to five billion, which in today's day and age, that is considered small. You're not seeing anything like an Apple being short squeezed or something like a Facebook or some massive, big, uh, you know, large cap company. You're not really seeing it there. You're seeing it mostly in these tiny one to two to three, four, five billion dollar companies. And another thing worth mentioning now that I mentioned uh, mentioned Apple, Facebook, and the big big stocks. You know, people don't short those. You know, if you notice, the short interest on Apple is like point. 2% or 1% less than that because nobody really wants to go against Apple, right? Nobody really wants to go against a Facebook and Amazon. Sure, people do short it, but it's not nearly as heavily shorted as these more speculative companies like GoGo, -Go, GameStop, AMC, and more that we're going to talk about in this video. So keep that in mind. Um, that's why you're not seeing Apple getting squeezed. You're not seeing even companies that are smaller than Apple, considering it has, what, $2 trillion market cap. Even companies like Wynn Resort or companies that have $100 billion or less market cap, even those typically don't get squeezed too often. Um, so, yeah, keep your eyes out on GoGo. -Go. That's a little side tangent there. It currently has a 33.1% short interest, like I said, with a, a little bit less than $1.9 billion market cap. The next one, which you guys have heard a lot about, is SDC, Smile Direct Club. This one is now a $5 stock, and it seems like the shorts have just been piling on. This thing has been getting hit like crazy. If you guys look here on the four hour chart, this was a $15 stock back in the beginning of this year in February. And now it just hit a low of $4 in the middle of August. And now in the middle of October, it's sitting at about $5.70. So that means the stock is down 65% as of now from that $15 high. And let's see if it was even higher than 15. It could have been. Um, yeah, it was 16. You know, it was 16, which is pretty close to 15. But um, oh, wow, three years ago. About two years ago, it was a $21 stock. So this thing is getting shorted like crazy. The short interest right now is almost 38%, and the market cap is $2.19 And we have seen little pops here and there. I mean, I know you guys remember one day recently it was up like 15%, 20%. It was up like 8%, 10% another day, um, and that was really recently, as recent as last week, the week before. And in the middle of September, end of September, it had a couple of runs. You guys can see here on the 13th, SDC went from 5 bucks to about 7 in one day, which is a big move for a $5 stock. And then it went from 560 all the way to about 8 the next day or a couple days after. So there's definitely little mini short squeezes within the overall downtrend here. Um, but I'm really waiting to see if we start breaking out of this downtrend. Um, you know, the start, the, the stock starts going ballistic, maybe above the moving averages, and then shorts really start to cover, which will cause a huge short squeeze. Um, I think that could be what we need to see, technically speaking, to start going at 9 ten dollars per share and that's how a lot of these short squeezes accelerate guys once people um investors the big boys shorting these once they see that start uh the stock starting to move up they're like holy crap we got to get out and then there's it's kind of like an avalanche of uh short sellers covering and that's when you see the big 30 percent 100 percent moves um in these individual stocks and 
and I don't know if I mentioned this, but the market cap, I think I did, is uh, $2.19 billion market cap. And another thing worth mentioning, uh, this video is full of side tangents, but a lot of these companies, they're shorted aggressively for a reason. Whether or not it's, sure, it could be share manipulation, but a lot of the institutions think, oh, this company is going to go out of business, this, that, the third. And the second the company maybe comes out with a, you know, a new product, innovation, or proves the short sellers that they're not going to go out of business, they're going to do better than the short sellers thought, that could be another, uh, another reason why they start covering because their investment thesis, when they jumped in to short it, was proven wrong. You know, that's what you see a lot of the time. Um, well, some of the time. I don't know exactly the percentage of the times, but you know what I mean. So stock number three is Ocugen, ticker symbol OCGN. This one's currently down about 7% on the day, but that is after it had a couple of big days in a row. This was a $7 stock just four days ago, so that was what, on Monday? And then it went from 7 all the way to almost $11 in one week. So it had a 30% move this week. Um, a lot of that move coming on Monday, Tuesday, and yesterday. And now we're just simply giving back some gains, which is completely healthy, profit-taking, whatever you want to call it. It makes sense. Um, and the short interest right now on OCGN is 27%. The market cap is about $1.9 billion. Like I said, a lot of these market caps caps are between one five billion guys it's just how it goes and this one's actually breaking out i mean we're now at a multi-month high on ocugen we're at about a four five month high which is great and it's trading above both moving averages we're seeing a golden cross so i think momentum here especially if we take out which now we're seeing a bit of resistance today um, if we take the high out from may i believe that was or early june at about 10 11 bucks this thing could start pushing into the teens, guys. Be ready for that. I think that's very possible. So I'm going to put an alert at, let's just put it at $10 for Occugen right now. We'll watch it and see what it does from there. And overall, that's it for this video, guys. Those are three stocks, a quick little breakdown on short interest, a couple of little side tangents within the video. And to wrap it up, let me tell you this. This stuff is very risky. This is not a strategy to go and chase the high short interest stocks and just invest all your money in those. That's not a good strategy in my opinion, but you could do whatever you want. Go ahead and do whatever you want. But in my opinion, I wouldn't play these with money that I'm willing or not willing to lose. You have to be willing to lose this money. Maybe take a couple percentage points of your portfolio and play with this type of stuff. At least that's what I would do. And that's what I'm planning on doing, right? I do own a little AMC played GameStop a bunch of times. Maybe I'm going to buy some of these stocks we talked about today, uh, but it's just a very small portion of the portfolio because at the end of the day, guys, these companies, these stocks, they could go bust and I don't want to lose all my money or, well, I'm, I'm willing to lose all my money, but you know, I don't want to lose more money than I'm not willing to lose, if that makes any sense. Sure, if I put in 2 3%, I'm willing to lose that, but I'm not willing to lose 15 20%, if that makes sense. So we'll wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe. Check out my Patreon down below if you guys want my buy, sells, call outs, morning update videos, plus more. Drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts and get your two stocks from Webull, your 30 bucks from M1 Finance. All those are free. Link down below. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching again. As always, keep crushing the market. Stay safe out there. Peace out.